indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. As always, we are recording. Okay, silence your cell phones. So instead of muting your Zoom, silence yourself. Yeah. Yeah, do everything now. Mute Zoom, silence yeah. phones. There's a lot happening. We all set in? Looks to me. All right. Uh, first up, no minutes to approve authorizations of FEMA's bills. I'll make a motion that we authorize the payment of bills. I'll second. All right. Discussion. Oh, <laughs> yeah, let me do it. <laughs> uh, big job. That's all right. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> okay, let's see here. Next up, uh, privilege of the floor. We're waiting. Oh, he's on the agenda, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so I guess we're going to approve the fee schedule. We put this out last meeting just to see if we got any comments or anything I, on it. I didn't hear anything. I make a motion that we include the fee schedule and stuff. Uh, I do have one question now. Uh, Tanya, under uh, police fees. Uh, please coverage at school events in court. The the twenty nine dollars that's per hour, right? Um, yeah, that's that's what it was. Okay. I'll second as motion. All favor? Aye. 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 All right. Let's see. Next up, Rockway Truck Preservation Association presentation. Just <laughs> <in the> next <laughs> time. <laughs> We timed it that way. What do you say about last reception? This is pretty close. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm Tom Kyle. I'm the president of the Broadway Truck Association here in Portland. Uh, this is Cindy Stelter, the director of the HCCA or CNY Living History Center. And we'd like to talk to the village about um, hosting the Broadway Truck Show this year. Uh, we have it. It's the second Saturday in August. Um, we'd like to close Main Street as they do for the, uh, how they or the uh, Magic on Main Street. We'd like to close it from Clinton Street to Cuba Street from 8 30 in the morning until approximately four o'clock in the afternoon. I think it'd be a great venue for the village. Uh, we're not being kicked out of Cortland. Cortland is going to, as you know, they're going to tear up Main Street. Uh, we've talked about this in the past for two or three years. Uh, always hanging on the, whether they were going to do anything or not. And um, we didn't really want to just walk out on them and leave a bad taste. So this year, there's no choice. <laughs> so we're all yours. <laughs> we are excited about that. Well, she's very I excited. The, uh, she's yeah. I don't either. I just wanted to check. Oh, he's my uh, he's my lead scout here, and uh, actually the number one promoter at this uh, second job. Huh? The chief is uh, yeah. He's been been real helpful. Uh, uh, in fact, he can tell you how many more feet there are here than there are in Portland, and uh, <laughs> how much wider Main Street is, and well, I, like the idea. I think that's work. great for our businesses. And uh, yeah, well, let's Brockway started here, right? Yeah, Brockway started. The buildings right down into the street here. Oh, yeah. Well, the first Brockway, excuse me. It was right here in Homer, the unroom. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that was where the carriage house started. Yeah. Uh, and, they, and they started building coffins before that and furniture. <laughs> and then they started building wagons. And then, of course, uh, James Street, which was all the way to the railroad tracks. Um, if you notice, there's a huge lot out there in the back where the where the soap factory was. That was all building. That was all the Broadway carriage bridge. Oh, huge, really? Huge building. Yeah. Uh, and uh, believe it or not, the first trucks were built here, contrary to what history tells you about 1912. And that was when they incorporated and built in Cortland. But the uh, 
first Brockways were built right here in Homer. And I believe there's a picture floating around of a 1908 that was owned by um, Burgett's IGA, which was uh, the local IGA store for three generations down. Or Burgess. more. Or more. Three or more. They, they were 18 I believe they bought the first one. It was a 1908. Uh, but because Brockway didn't incorporate and start until 1912, that's how the Portland and the Crescent Corsa gets the credit. Mm -hmm. I think we do a lot of play on, you know, Brock, Brockway starting here in Homer. and uh, um, We couldn't, yeah, we couldn't be more excited. Well, it's great. It's great. Uh, I think it'll work out <clears throat> now that... You know, Kind of got your permission. I guess there's a couple of things I'd like to ask you about. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows has a yeah, little bit of here. <laughs> I'm uh, putting on my glasses. Okay. All right. But, uh, obviously, we'd, li we'd like to close Main Street. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think for the merchants and everybody's, you know, concern, Porter Johns would be uh, would be something that we'd like to have your help with. Um, I believe the bandstand belongs to the village. We would like to be able to use the bandstand also. And I have already filed the paperwork with the church. Okay, good. For not only the bandstand, but the green. The green, good. And um, <clears throat> we have a banner that we put up on Main Street in Cortland. We'd like to put that up, you know, where we put them across by the firehouse. Yeah. Uh, does the fire department? I can help give you that? the form. Um, okay. Before you leave, I can walk out and get it, and it comes right back to the village to approve, and then you just bring the banner to us. Okay. And then they'll pick it. When it's done, uh, we just call you to come get it. Okay. So. Uh, I really think it'd be a great opportunity for all the merchants and, uh, well, like some of the nonprofits, like the Legion and the fire department, I think uh, all of them seem to do well in Cortland, uh, selling food and stuff. There's a lot of people who attend this. It's, uh, it's a pretty big deal. Uh, we have between 110 to 160 vehicles. And of course, that comes a lot of times with families. Uh, I can't tell you the number of spectators that come. And uh, the only downside I see is fuel at $6 a gallon is gonna is probably gonna hurt us a little bit, but I don't think it'll be anywhere near a, you know, a low, low turnout. I think we'll be in the middle or somewhere. Anybody have any questions for Cindy or myself? That's a pretty easy list. Do you have anything else? Oh, I got a question. I'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to bring that furnace back to make the little medallions? Pardon me? You're going to make that little iron furnace? You're going to bring that back? To oh, that was, um, that was from that the college. Years ago. Yeah, that was from the college. Oh, really? Uh, it was a teacher up there who did that as a... He actually cast those benches that are on Main Street in Cortland. Okay. I didn't get one. I want one. So let me see if I can find you one. No, no. I, I, I want to, you know, have a middle. You know, but they one. were. Uh, yeah. He did them, and he did them with his class. And then uh, he was an interesting fellow. He was the kind of guy that wanted to do something once, but he didn't want to do it again. <laughs> and he kind Sounds of passed, like me. he passed this idea off to somebody else, and they came and did it a couple of times, and. Uh, they just found that, you know, that day they had lots of orders and everything. If they had them made ahead of time, they made money. If they didn't, it just didn't work out for them. And they Should just kind of made an idea. So if you find one of those, they're a collector's item. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> like I said, I'm going to kick myself. I was, down there. I was fascinated. Yeah. You know, this is, yeah. I worked well, that's where from Portland State. I worked uh, in college at uh, Republic Steel. In Buffalo, and so I got to uh, see how dangerous boundaries really are. Well, they, yeah, they set the kill they set the boundary right up down from the fire department there, and uh, yeah, did a nice job. But he he actually made those castings for the the sand castings for the if you look on the corner, I believe it's on uh, Clinton Avenue, Maine. Okay, those are Brockway Husky dogs on the ends wow. of that bench. And of course, we wanted one for the museum, and we talked to them, and they talked about maybe another one, and it was a one and done. And <laughs> Anyhow, I went down the street. You know, you know, know, that's that's one of my, uh, you know, laments. Okay, I think it's great. It's going to help Homer. We're going to get, uh, you know, our businesses. We'll see uh, foot traffic and uh, 
And of course, the place it. will be on top of it. And of course, that's community service. And so that's great. The officers can meet the community. That's, uh, I think it's a win win. Porta potties, uh, I don't know what they cost. Yeah, we'll get them. But uh, I think the taxes, and not that we get any of the taxes, but I think it might make sense. Uh, oh, we'll get a half a dozen or something. We'll get an estimate for you for yeah. next meeting. Yeah. For, and that way it can be approved. Tom, how much uh, are we looking with additional vehicles? Should we be coordinating with the school for their parking areas? Um, I think my lead scout is going to talk to the school about using the, uh, the field out behind the elementary school. Uh, I've talked to Junior Cattell, and he will open up uh, his Elm Street entrance to back of Miller's, so people can walk up and down Elm Street to get to it. Uh, you have parking here. Mm -hmm. There'll be parking down behind the firehouse. Uh, both of those will be accessible from Route 11 because they won't be closed off. Uh, and probably some of the people in the know will find their way into the backside of the IGA and stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, and also, uh, you know, uh, downtown, the, the uh, First National Bank of Dryden has their parking lot. You have a municipal lot across the street. <clears throat> but I, I see these businesses doing really extremely well. The businesses in Cortland will tell you it's one of the best days of the year. Yeah, I'm sure that it will be. Yeah. Oh, I talked to a couple of members of the business association and they're like, yes, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Oh. And my plan also is to put vendors on the green. Great. So it's more than just the truck show. That's great. Um, we have having the use of the bandstand. I've talked to a couple of uh, musical groups that for not a lot of money, they would be willing to come. So they have something go on all day. And, and the green as well. I have a question in regards to that, if you don't mind. Um, one of the things we have up today is the farmer's market. Do you want it running with it, or do you want me to take them out of it? They usually run that kind of one. I can, because I have their contract, and I can switch pull them in or out. I really totally don't know. Totally up to you. Saturday, I, really you know. yeah. I really don't know if it matters. Um, well, I, I either tell them they can't come or they can come. Doesn't matter. <laughs> well, they, yeah, I would say if they would like to come, I'm sure that um, and this has happened in the city of Cortland. They uh, they were on Court Street as we held the show on Main Street. I still hear those suggestions. Yeah, will not be on Main Street. Maybe on. We can move wherever you want to move up. They might, <laughs> they might enjoy the extra foot track. Oh, I'm sure they would. They be on Central Park on the side there or something. Okay, so I think yeah, we'll have to put them somewhere where. They'll because they won't want to be there till four thirty. So yeah, probably. no. So on the central part, to one, be, yeah. yeah, so they can get out, get out the back way. Yeah, yeah this is a, we usually have an award show at three thirty. It's over within probably 15, 20 minutes, and then it's a mass exodus right down. The <laughs> <laughs> I would say by five it's after up. four, it'll, it'll just be back to Main Street. Only. Right. Yeah. But, it, yeah. Very excited about this. Yeah, I'm in. Is this something that we need to vote and approve on? Um, I think we're going to have to just for the closing of the street, right? It doesn't hurt. Yeah. I'll make a motion that we uh, accept the plan to uh, close down Main Street for the Brockway Truck Show on the second Saturday in August. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Yeah, that's great. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Thank you, John, for what Thursday you do for the night. community. Oh, thank you. But we'll, uh, yeah, Thursday night we have a meeting so we can we can get rolling on this. Let, them, let everybody know we're excited and that uh, if you think of other things that we can do to help or to All make right. it a better event, please tell us. Be careful what you wish. I'll <laughs> <laughs> get your form for you. Okay. Thanks again. All right. The first uh, next thing on here is approving the uh, lease agreement, the renewed lease agreement for the parking spaces for John Miller. Did I skip over B? Yeah. Oh, she's here. Too. <laughs> Notice how she kept quiet on that. Sorry. <laughs> All right, actually, B, yes, approved trustee Elizabeth McGrath as alternate hearing officer. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see the motion first out. Nice. Can you, can you
Well, has you notice how we left out discussion on that? Yeah, we don't want to because then you get a chance to not do it. You don't want me doing it. Uh, all right, now we're going to approve the renewed uh, parking space lease for John Miller. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All right, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. This. And then the next one is approve the renewed lease for uh, parking spaces at the Dwayne Block building. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Moving right along. Cemetery Electric Review. Jim, nothing from agreements. Um, yeah, actually, he came up today. I met with him, and he's going to do an estimate for us and get it back to me as soon as he possibly can. So, well, then, do we need to wait on this? I, I'd like to uh, wait on this until we, we have a couple more weeks, don't we? Yeah, spring is here, but still, all right. Ground may still be frozen. We don't want to put you too much farther, but no. no. Make sure he gets it to you by the end of the week, if possible, Jim. Okay. Um, yeah, I got his card. So uh, he said it'd get it to me pretty quick. I told him we had this meeting today, and I said, as soon as I can get it from you, I'll get it submitted to the board, and then we can get this approved and get going on it. So, Excellent. all right. So we'll just uh, punt on that one. All right. Let's see. Next up, approve adding a check run for March 31st to close the fiscal year. That makes sense to me. I'll make that motion. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Tanny, we just approved your check run for the end of the year. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. Yep. Next is uh, appoint Carl Cole to DPW laborer position. I'll make that motion. Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Yes. Aye. All right. <clears throat> uh, rate increase from Family Health Network for the fire department physicals. Dave, you got to do it. Yeah, it looks uh, out, of, out of control to me. I'll make the motion that we accept their uh, proposal or sign the contract. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, the next up Amnesty Day. Nice. Saturday, May 14th. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure everyone else is. Um, Flyer will be available on the village website or here at the village hall. I don't want, I'm not going to read the whole thing about what you can and cannot bring, but one thing um, village residents only will be checking IDs at the gate. So if you're not a village resident, you can't come. Uh, Phil, uh, you said the compost site is going to be closed on Mother's Day, May 8th. Yes. Reason? Just so people don't come in and start throwing stuff in when nobody's around. Oh, is that because the, yeah, we, we do it every time. The, the dumpsters will be there. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. I just want to make sure yep. because we get some complaints that, you know, it's Mother's Day. That's when they do a lot of gardening. Yeah. But if we've already staged. Maybe you learned that one the hard way, huh? Yeah. We've already yeah. staged the dumpsters. Yep. Got it. All right. That's why, folks. <laughs> All right. Do we, uh, uh, no, we need, we do need to. I make a motion that we approve uh, May 14th as Amnesty Day. I'll second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Next up, approve the Farmer's Market Handbook. Well, I'm excited that we're going to have the Farmer's Market again this year. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yep. Thank you, Tanya. I know you've done a lot of work on this. Yeah. How many vendors have you expressed interest by? <sighs> 10 to 15 at least. Wow. Wow. And um, I can tell you over the year, Facebook had 1,567 contacts with, and then as I, that's when I started looking at this. And then um, once I said it will open 
please send me info. I got another 567 in the last week and a half. That's great. So applications will go up tomorrow if all of this is approved. Excellent. And when are we starting? May 7th? May 7th. It's the same as um, last, like in the past, the same weekend. You will see there's a holiday market in there. Um, we have two dates of community building already reserved. Oh, nice. um, so this is for crafters, Great. farmers, and for bakers, any of them. Um, all the requirements are listed that are needed. I've been working with the Department of Agriculture. And at the same point, I wanted to contact there. So says any time we have a question or anything that's in question, we will look at it and oh, good. for us. Um, I've already been told that we'll be approved to accept EBT, which is on here. Any good. farmer that wants to um, collect EBT just has to submit the FMNP number and their number of acres. So. And then it's submitted, they get reimbursed uh, monthly. Excellent. I'll make a motion to approve the farmer's uh, handbook, vendor application, and accepting EBTs at the farmer's market. All three. I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah, I thought they were all pretty. Yeah, they are. Pablum. And uh, just again for our viewing public, May 7th is when it opens market calendars. To give you some heads up on that, this in addition, the high key science and the library are working to work on events with us, um, along with Wednesday's concerts. And then, as everyone heard, the Brockway and um, the National Night Out is one of them. So, there's a bunch of events. A lot of good stuff going on in the village this summer. All right, move the community gardens lease. Any changes on this, Tanya? No, Probably and actually, not. we. I'd like to thank Victor Siegel who takes care of this. Um, I don't. He offered to help with this again, and he set it all up again. Oh, so there's, good. yeah, it's all rolled over. Everybody would keep the same bed in number, unlike last year where they were renumbered. Right. And we didn't realize they're keeping the same bed numbers. Um, it's the same fee, except you'll see the ones that are next that have been waived for the community right. benefit. Right. Um, so everything really is run the same. This would be 15 on the first bill calls like 13 years ago. I wasn't here. <laughs> I, I helped build them the yeah. first time. They're all new, That's actually. Nice. Yeah, they look great. I don't know if we need to get some more topsoil, maybe a pile. Yeah, a lot of a little low, or maybe a scoop of uh, mulch, or yep. from yep. Uh, you know, a small truck of topsoil to help top those up a little bit because they're down like that far. I mean, you know. yeah. I'll make a motion that we approve the community gardens lease. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Next up, we're going to approve giving Jane Hall four community garden spaces for food pantry uh, at no cost and the. Preschool, one community garden spot at no cost for this fiscal year. And that being sold, so I'm all in. I'll make yeah. that motion. Jane works hard. I'll second it. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Good, Aye. Good. Sorry. Uh, all right. Next up. Yeah, you're going to explain this, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Solar simplified. <laughs> yeah. Oh, in that case, the sun the sun comes up and the sun goes down. That's very simple. I don't know. Is it <coughs> standard time or savings time? Both. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. Part of um, you know we did the climate smart communities and the clean energy communities. There's another, there's some more stretch goals for um, some clean energy stuff where we, if we reach certain goals, we're going to get um, more grants. And I think that we're, who was on the webinar with me? Was it you, Pat, or you, Dan? Might have been me. Had to be Dan. Cause Must have been, okay, with Amanda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we only needed a few points to get to the next yeah, grant nice. level where we'll get another $5,000 grant. And then we can do a few other things and we can get to a 10,000. I mean, we're really actually close to where we can get about $30,000 in grants. <clears throat> One of the things is by switching to uh, community solar 
for the village. And uh, it basically says, you know, for all of our electric accounts, uh, we just switched the provider from uh, grid to solar simplified. They're building a, you know, it, it, it's local. They build these solar arrays around the area. So you actually um, buy into one that's being built in the, in the near, nearby area. So this one's being built in this area. Um, and you basically always get, I think it's, it's, uh, I gotta look, I think it's 10 cents less than the going rate or 10% less. I think it's 10%. Yeah, probably the same, 10 cents would yeah. be 4 cents. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'd be too much of a bargain. Yeah, it's 10% 10, it's 10 less than what you would pay. One a penny, basically. Yeah, well, a half. so we have the savings here. If you look at this sheet, yeah. so it would save us about $3,700 a year. And we be, we would be basically 100% green energy for our electric. And we'd be able to collect that grant. How does that affect Constellation, who I think is our provider or something? Do we have a contract with them? Yes. Yeah, we would switch from Constellation to solar. And it's okay to do that without penalties or anything? Uh, we'll have to look into it. I'm sure that it is. Well, we've been with say it. we're going to do this. We've been with I it. hate to bite it, get ourselves a bit. Yeah, well, we can, I mean, obviously, we can vote to approve based on being able to get out of Constellation. But we've been with Constellation for so long that oh I I, yeah. I just don't want us to get bit. That's yeah. what I, I'm in. That's what I just yeah. issues over okay. there. Yeah. So um yeah, these are the accounts that will be enrolled. It's pretty simple. I actually just signed up for it personally. And one of the things that you know we're gonna look at doing um this summer is it's called community. Uh, choice aggregation solar. Basically, we would we switch everybody in the village over to solar, but they get they, everyone gets I think notified three different times, um, and they can opt out. Right, they get a postcard if they don't want to switch to solar. They just send the postcard back in, and they they stay where they're at. So, uh, and that would give us a bunch of points to put this over the grid. So. Portland is doing that now, so we're, I'm just going to do a little more research to see how it's going in the other communities before I before I switch because that's kind of a bigger thing. But this seemed like a pretty small for us. Yeah, and this is only only village properties. Only village, yeah, village owned properties. Now, if we we were talking about eventually putting solar panels in at the DPW, yep, uh, wouldn't impact this at all. Well. So we we'd have to actually look and see. I don't think it will impact. Um, we should be able to get out of this too. Well, I was just gonna say, yeah. if we become a like if so if we have the potential to be a net supplier, is there something where we would get reduced? <clears throat> That's what I'm gonna have to check. I'll check with him to make sure that we can. They'll do. Either they can either do net metering for us, or that we can back one property out. If we if we are going to solar, because it would just be you know powering the DPW and stuff like that, and then that meter or whatever extra we made. So yeah, I'll check on that too before we do this. That's okay. good. That's a good point. I was told the pink ones can be added in if there's more use. So for instance, the tennis court is actually the basketball court. I was told once we get the lights in, if we have more use, they would move us into the green category. Excellent. That yeah, that makes sense. That's actually the test court's actually the basketball court. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've seen tennis played there. Yeah. Well, we did that when the high school was doing yeah. that was a temporary thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Curious what that, that one fire station that has zero use of do, but yeah, that was eleven hundred dollars. That oh, is that what is that was? Flooded. So that's the rec yeah. building? Yeah, that's the rec building. Oh, so that one could come back online too then. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yeah. All right, with those caveats, uh, I'm okay with You're all right with, with the caveats. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, we won't, I won't sign it until I know the answers to those questions. So do you want to wait till you have the answers and then bring it back, or do you want to go ahead and do a motion now? Let's do a motion now and then, 
you know. Mm, really? You, well, you don't trust me. <laughs> you think I'm just good? <laughs> no, I we do. We do. I, we I do. Hear I trust. We do lots of contingency <laughs> motions here. Okay. All right. It's a motion contingent I'm, on being able to do met, net metering and being able to get out of uh, our agreement uh, or constellation. Unless I'm just on next order. Contract has to come back to the table anyway. Right. Okay. I'm well, this is the contract, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Yeah, this is the contract. Mm. You're in? Right. All right. This is not a big deal. I'll get those things cleared up. I'll, I'll second the motion. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Okay, next update on the Little White Church. You want to do that or you want me to do it? Pat? Well, why don't you go ahead and do it and then I'll fill in any gaps. All right. <laughs> so we had our meeting with the uh, Little White Church committee yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So time's a blur. Um, and it, there's consensus still about how we want to use it. Um, that the Center for the Arts is still interested in participating in the same way as is Landmark Society. Um, we've got funds left over from our CDBG account, and we've got some ARPA money. And so um, the thought is that we use those funds now to stabilize, to do basically um, stabilize the foundation, remove the front steps, and uh, I think we're going to hire, you're going to like this, Phil. <laughs> uh, hire, looking at probably hiring someone for the summer whose pretty much job would be to scrape it down and paint it. Because <laughs> um, I think it needs, it, well, it needs a coat of paint bad. So um, let's see what other things we talk about. Uh, I did get a Joe's already kind of reached out about the arborist. Oh, good. Uh, because we're looking at some of the trees on the property. And uh, one of the concerns was uh, the committee didn't want to take down the trees unnecessarily if we didn't have to. And so he uh, reached out, he's going to reach out to Cornell Cooperative Extension. And they have some folks on staff that will come out okay. and take a look. They also had somebody else for a fee that would come out. And I, I told them we'll, we'll go with uh, uh, free on this uh cornell is pretty reputable so i feel yeah, yeah. kind of comfortable with that yeah uh, so he's going to set up a, a appointment or a date with that and when he does bill uh we'll be on it at two so we can get a go out there and take a look sure. no uh yeah and then we figured some of the other projects that you know we could have be worked on in the summer in addition to the painting is what removing the the ramp the steps, the steps, oh, yeah. so the front step, yeah, and then um, it was something else, yeah, probably construction wise, it probably removed the ramp too, yeah. So I was thinking that it was yeah. removed the ramp. You mentioned carpentry, yeah, and a lot of carpentry, yeah, I mean. yeah, just in, internal carpentry and stuff. Talking about the ADA ramp right in the middle, mm -hmm. the ADA ramp in the middle, talking about the ramp right in the, in the center, middle. yeah, yeah, it's already gone. Oh, it's already gone, that's right, that's gone, that's very gone. Oh, yeah, center one. oh well, <laughs> okay, yeah. all right. But I think you had to have it blocked off, so I have to see yeah, that. Right. Check that out. I think maybe that tool was holding up that wall, so that's why we really need to get that stabilized. Yeah, that's that's um, so we need to get a second quote because we got the one from the from the crew, uh, Woodford, Woodford, which I hear they're great, but they're also great. very expensive. They're very expensive, but it's also there's a lot of work that we have to do for them. For them, yeah. yeah. Um, Well, Joe had those vendors that he listed. Yeah, that working so we could call them for quotes. Well, this is this is someone who specifically works on foundations. So I don't. I guess Tom Kyle doesn't, or do we know? This is a major, major, major job. Yeah. Total. It you was got a complete a, construction concepts. He said to call. He said to call them just to see if they do it. Yeah, yeah. We can ask them, um, and then also. Um, there's a masonry guy that uh, McNeil uh, is using that's supposed to be very good. I can't remember the name offhand. Yes, Ed. You done? No, no, finish. <laughs> Go ahead. Where are we getting a million dollars to fix this building? 
we're we're going to apply for grants for this. So why are we spending money that we can't get back if you don't get the grant? We're we're going to stabilize the building. I don't know how you can do that with the foundation dying and the roof sagging and the roof needs replacing. Who said the roof needs replacing? It sags at a foot and a half. The, the, the slates are leaking. I mean, there was a bucket up on the third floor. It's a million bucks. I personally can't see spending our little bit of money that we have that we could put into sidewalks or something else for the people for a building that may actually come down. We don't have anything on our hand. We said a year and a half ago we were going to get grants and we failed. We have another opportunity with this DRI thing, which may happen. I certainly hope it does. And if we get the million bucks, I'm in. But right now, doing this piecemeal, I think we're just wasting our money. See, Ed, we haven't committed any money to these large projects yet, but we've got to start giving the quotes. So when we do, with quotes. then that's what we're doing. Some of these things that we're doing we, that we can do for free, like get these other things from Cornell and those things, and those things that we can do internally at little cost, that's what we're doing. But we've got to get these quotes, and that's what we're talking about, is getting these quotes so we have some firm numbers so that when we apply for the grants, that's fine. we're not going swagging it. No, no, I didn't say you were swagging it. Well, but no, I heard we have money in CBDG and ARPA money. That means you're starting to commit monies on something that could actually be a parking lot, in my opinion, if we don't get the million dollars in grant money. If we just piecemeal it, yeah, that's all fun and it's all nice and it's good, but it's still going to be futile. It's still, it's all part of the process of we have not spent any dime. I know we haven't on spent that. any money and I don't want you to. Well, but if we don't know what we're doing, which is what we're trying to do, we're gathering information, we're doing what we can with no cost to the taxpayer so that we, you know, if we do nothing, you're going to get nothing. If we've got to do something so we can move forward with the applying for these grants. We got a, a nice quote system from uh, Crawford that told us all the things that needed to be done. And it was over a million dollars and that was over a year ago. And we failed on our want that doesn't say we're going to fail twice, but if we're going to spend money, I'm all with you on the quotes because they don't cost us anything. But as soon as we start putting labor and money into this thing, and the whole place could come down anyhow. And I'm not, Based on that anything, logic, Ed, we're not, not going to spend another dollar on anything that is involving a grant application because we might not get it. Yeah, no, I didn't that's, say, that's, I didn't your say, I, no. that's your logic. That's your logic. On this one here, we've worked for over two to three years. On this building because it's important. I agree it's important. How no, you important don't is agree it? it's important. Well, why don't if we agree it? it was important? You would actually no, endeavor to see Here's it. what we should have done. We should have put it on the on the ballot, and people could have voted for fifty dollars a year for the next thirty years to get the million dollars. If it's important to the people, we could have done that. I'm I'm not I'm against spending money on this uh, building as much as I love the building. And I think it's great. I'm against it, but I only have one vote, so you guys voted in. We're not voting on anything right now. Well, you're going to spend money. And this is you're spending company. this time to get quotes. This money being spent. And I'm going to remember this logic when it comes up, and it's something that you want. Uh, there's nothing I want. Nothing I'm going to get. <laughs> I've been second guessed for years, and I got nothing so far. I know my grants have come through. No walking trail, no dog park, nothing. So I don't expect anything. Next meeting is in April. Oh, very and good. Everybody's got things that they're supposed to be looking at and doing, and uh, we're 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 making we're moving forward. I said I only had one vote. You guys did not vote me. I don't probably. This was just an update. Okay, well, I'm just saying I want you to know that I'm. Oh, we'll all vote you when it comes, don't worry. Okay, well, that's fine. Just want to know, let the people know. It's a million bucks. We don't have it. Ed, we don't. We could get it. You know what? I think it's 50 million bucks because I'll just pull numbers out of the air, too. That was the number Crawford came up with. It's not my number. 
But that was everything from soup to nuts. Well, you're going to restore it. You can't have it without a, you know, with a fire and the locks and the doors and all that stuff. And it's got to be health and safety in the bathrooms. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. And the foundation has fallen apart. And you had proper who came in and said, hey, it's a half a million dollars. Could be even more. Because they don't know how much rot and stuff. And you got that whole wall rotting because the ceiling is dripping wet. I want to save the building, but we, we got to do it, you know, without spending a whole lot of our money that could go actually down the toilet. We're spending $15,000 a year right now, keeping it heated and insured. So I'm fine with that. I just don't want to see a, a bunch of money spent on something without getting that million dollar plan. Is that the actual cost that we're spending on heat and yeah. insurance? Um, I spent, 50, I signed a thing for $1,500 last month for uh, just the heat. We that spend, didn't include insurance. We spend a lot more in the winter. And so I think it's more like nine, to be honest, but I'll have to look it up to see. Okay, so it's 9,000 plus insurance, which what I don't see in my head. Yeah. The CDBG money that we were talking about was allocated a couple of years ago. So there is more CDBG money, but that's the remaining funds that was allocated. Um, we had plans that we were going to do with Keystone, I believe, and then some of it didn't happen. So that the funds are still there. There is other funds that aren't allocated. So. All right. Next up, uh, we have openings on three of our boards: uh, Recreation Board. We need an alternate for the zoning board of appeals, and we've got spots on our economic development uh, committee. So if you're interested, please contact the village office for that, um, and they can give you the information that you need. And uh, now we'll open it up to comments by board members. We might as well start with that. Everything's wonderful. Very good. Is there anything to add tonight? I, I want to put in more of a plug for the recreation board. Hasn't met now in, in oh well over a year, really, you know, kind of disbanded by COVID. But I met with Zach this morning and we're excited about bringing it back to life and, and seeing what we can do to really enrich some of the opportunities here in the village. Um, I just also want to make people aware of some exciting opportunities that are coming up for our kids this summer soccer registration is going to start right about april 1st and it's actually got a lot of great ideas about how the youth soccer program uh, can be changed a bit this year to provide more opportunities for the kids who are playing right here in homer um, the softball league is going to start very soon there is still space available on the wait list and if we get enough interested kids they will expand to another team so if you know people who might be interested in our you know, sorry that they missed it because they hear the teams are full. Please encourage them to reach out about registering for the wait list. On top of that, we're going to need some umpire sports softball. So it's a great opportunity really for uh, some of our high school students or our, our uh, youth athletes who want to make some extra money and learn a new skill. So encourage them to contact Zach or here the, come here at the village. Awesome. Thank you very much. Patrick. Uh, the bridge committee. Uh, the town bridge committee met Monday, no, last week, last Thursday. I'm boring. Uh, had a great discussion uh, looking at uh, going with a, a different engineering firm uh, and uh, just waiting to hear back from them. So, different than Barton and the Gotis? Yes. All right. Yeah. Very good. Uh, and then last okay. thing I had was uh, we did, for those of our residents who are patiently and frustrated about the lighting issue, we had a meeting last week with them. Um, so we're moving forward with that. It's been painfully slow, those last couple of issues getting cleaned up. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So I just have, uh, I just want to talk a little bit about the reopen basketball courts. Everybody's excited. The uh, DPW did a great job. However, this morning when we came, uh, the place was trashed. There was garbage everywhere. The uh, locks had been broken and the rims lowered. 
can't have that. Um, so we are we have security cameras that point on the courts. We're going to install a few more. And uh, this was the one free. This was your freebie. Um, if people do it again, then we'll just refer it to the Homer Police Department. So don't do it. We've taken the lock. We've taken the handles off. There's no way to lower the rims anymore. Um, and uh, please treat treat the courts the way that you would want to find them when you come to play. That's what I would say. So with that, do we have to go to executive? I don't think we do. Okay. There's some press on the Zoom. If you want to oh yeah. To okay. Uh, there's some press in the room. Yeah. All right. Any questions from us? I'll just go around. Don, any questions? No. No questions. Eddie, any questions? Brad, any questions? No. <laughs> <laughs> Portland Voice, any questions? Oh, not at this time. Okay, very good. All right, then we need to go into executive session per New York State Public Officers Law, Article 7, Section 105. I'll make that motion. Second. 